In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a printer to your Mac. There are two ways that you typically will connect a printer to your Mac, either through a USB connection or through a, a wireless or network connected printer. So if you have a USB connected printer, pretty much all you have to do is plug the USB uh, into the printer and also into your computer. And if it's a new printer, your Mac will recognize that it's a new printer and it will automatically download and install the driver and it should automatically just work at that point. Um, if you're trying to connect to a network connected printer, like something that is plugged in with an ethernet connection or has a wireless uh, printing of capabilities, uh, that's gonna be the primary focus of this video. So to set up a network connected printer, what you're going to do is you're gonna go into system preferences so you can find that I have mine in my dock, but you can go ahead and click on the Apple logo and go to system preferences. You're going to select the printers and scanners. And in this list of printers and scanners are going to be all of the printers, scanners that you have already set up to be able to be used by your Mac. Uh, so if you're trying to set up a new printer, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this plus button and you're going to try and find it from the list of printers. So in this case, I wanna set up this Canon printer. When you click on it, it gives you a couple of options. You can give it a name. So I'm gonna kind of shorten this down here a little bit. Uh, if you wanted to call it something like color printer or um, office printer or something like that, you could give it that name there. Um, where it says use, this is basically selecting what drivers it's going to use. Rather than using the drivers that are uh, from the manufacturer, Apple recommends that you use either their AirPrint or Secure AirPrint driver if it's available for your uh, for your printer. What this is going to do is it's automatically going to detect the most recent and up-to-date software, and it will automatically install the correct drivers for that printer. So I'm gonna choose Secure AirPrint, and then it's as simple as clicking Add, and it will set up your device. So I now have this device, and I'm able to print to it. Uh, you can see what items are waiting to be printed by clicking on the print queue. Um, if you click into the options and supplies, that's again where you can rename it if you would like to, uh, and supplies will show you how much ink you have left in each color. Um, if you have a printer that you no longer need to use, you can just click on the minus and it will ask you if you want to delete the printer and you can delete it. If you Another way to set up a network connected printer is again, you can click on the plus, if you don't see the printer listed in the list here, you can choose to add it by IP address. Now to find the IP address, you're probably going to have to look on your printer in either the network settings um, or the preferences and initial setup information on your printer. But once you have your IP address, you can go ahead and just put the IP address in here. It should look something like this. Uh, you can select what protocol that you want to use to print. So it'll probably either be the AirPrint or the internet printing protocol. Um, and then it's going to select, again, the drivers that you should use. Um, I'm gonna do AirPrint for this one. You can give it a name down here. So the address is the IP address. The name is kind of like what we had in that other one. And then you can just click add. Um, so in the description of this video, I'm going to include a link to um, Apple's forum or Apple's um, support page that talks about how to connect the different uh, types of printers. So it's it looks like this. So this is what I'm going to connect. Let me get that out of this. Um, so as I said, right, for a USB printer, for most USB printers, literally all you have to do is make sure that your software is up to date and connect it, right, plug it in. Mac OS automatically detects the printer and downloads any necessary software. So that's really pretty straightforward and easy. Um, I hope that this was helpful and can get you up and running with your printer.